What's up, Internet? You're with Got That Funk. Welcome and thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I posted a new video on this channel, but here I am. Over the weekend, an awful lot happened stateside. Uh, lots of it was interesting and lots of it was quite disturbing in equal measure. One of the things that happened that I wanted to talk about was this character called Richard Spencer got punched in the face. Now, Richard Spencer is known um, online as one of the so-called leaders of the alt-right. Um, he's also known to be a white supremacist. Um, that's clearly evident from things he said publicly, and he's also been called a neo-Nazi. And, uh, you know, I don't want to have a, a dispute about whether the term neo-Nazi is uh, valid or invalid. Um, the bottom line is that uh, there's plenty of footage online of him hosting a seminar where he's giving a talk and saying things like, Hail Victory, Hail Trump. Hail Victory, if you translate it to German, uh, is Sieg Heil. So, you know, he's definitely invoking uh, Nazi language. Whether or not that makes him a Nazi, I'll leave up to you. Um, and he, without a doubt, as I say, is a white supremacist. There is absolutely nothing that he said publicly that I align myself with in any way. I, I think he's despicable. And um, I don't like the shit that he says. However, I absolutely cannot support people who say that it's okay that this guy got punched. And unfortunately for me, there are quite a few people online uh, that I'm acquainted with, both on YouTube and elsewhere, uh, who seem to think that it is actually okay, you know, because this guy's views are so abhorrent and, uh, and he's such a nasty piece of work that basically he deserves what he gets. You know, this is the price you pay for being a Nazi in America. Don't, you're not allowed to feel safe if you're a Nazi in America. Now, I know the word bigotry and bigot has been so overused, especially over the past few years, that it's almost meaningless. But let's just talk about the actual meaning of what a bigot is for a second. A bigot is someone who uh, hates and refuses to tolerate another person based on their viewpoints or their lifestyle. Well, I think the you can argue about whether someone's opinions are, and so forth are, are bigoted as much as you like, but when someone actually resorts to violence against someone else because they disagree with their opinions, that person is the greater bigot. That's my opinion. So yeah, this jackass who punched uh, Richard Spencer um, is more intolerant than Richard Spencer. Well, unless Richard Spencer goes around punching people, I've got no information, plus or minus on that. Uh, I have no reason to think that he does. Suffice to say that he definitely got punched by someone, and he got punched because of his political views. And I'm sorry, I'm a liberal, and I'm a libertarian. And to me, that basically means you should be able to go about your day without fear of harassment or violence, as long as you're not impeding on anyone else's freedom, you should be free to do more or less whatever you want, including having abhorrent opinions. If you express abhorrent opinions, you should be expecting to get a response, but it shouldn't be violence. It should be better opinions, better information, facts, logic. People want to use emotions to persuade some people. That works too, whatever. But the bottom line is, uh, you know, if you're going to be saying intolerant bullshit, you should expect to be met with resistance verbally. Sure, of course. Physical violence? No. It's not okay to beat someone up or, or worse because you disagree with their fucking opinion. you got to be kidding me. How is that any better than um, the basic philosophy where uh, some religious people blow up people because they don't like their beliefs? What? I know that's an extreme example, but it's, it's fucked up. You, you, you don't hurt someone or injure someone because of their beliefs. That betrays a fundamental misunderstanding of what is moral. You seem to think, the people who support this seem to think that uh, because this guy is such a bad character, it is therefore morally acceptable uh, for bad things to happen to him. Well, I mean, you know, who died and made you the fucking judge for one thing? And also, like... Like I say, in a free society, we all have to get along. That requires tolerance, even of people 
who you might not want to tolerate. As long as you allow them to exist, they have a right to exist. And basically the logical conclusion of saying that there's no place for the people with this kind of views in my country is either internment or execution. I mean, why should you stop at punching the person? If you disagree and think they're so, they, they, that they don't have a right to exist, basically, they don't have a right to hold those opinions, I don't really see the disconnect between, you know, going all the way. Why is that not okay? Why is, it, why is a punch okay but not execution? You know, like I say, I, I, I think the guy with the mask on who punched him showed himself to be a bigger bigot than Richard Spencer, and that's unfortunate because... Richard Spencer should be, um, I mean, if people want to vilify him, that's fair enough, but he should definitely be um, challenged at every public event that he speaks at uh, with words, with better ideas, you know. Yeah, you shouldn't make it comfortable for him to uh, go around and spread his poison, but you shouldn't try to stop him either. That's my opinion. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I look forward to a lively discussion down below, and I'll see you again on this channel very soon. Until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.